Hi, it's Emma Nago. So I'm doing this makeup look um, today in honor of Denmark's Constitution Day. So our Constitution Day is every year on the 5th of June. So um, that's why I was inspired to do this look. And um, the main part of this look is the red lip, which of course is inspired by the Danish flag. In case you don't know, the Danish flag is red with a white cross. And you can actually see it right here on my nail. So that's what it looks like. And these are my nails. Um, I have had them on since my birthday back in the start of May. But I actually wanted to wait, um, you know, wanted to wait with getting new ones. Because I wanted to have my uh, red and Danish flag nails um, for today, for Constitution's Day. So I'm just doing, um, you know, kind of natural, actually very natural skin. And just kind of a smudgy eyeliner look with just some mascara and then this glossy pretty red lip. And today actually is also um, Father's Day. Um, so I actually did get my dad a gift. Um, and yeah, um, in Denmark, Constitution Day and Father's Day is on the same day and it's always on the 5th of June, I think. I read on Wikipedia that um, in most other countries, Father's Day is on the 15th. So, um, yeah, that's just a little fun fact for you. But I'm actually going to show you what I got my dad. Two seconds. So in here is um, my dad's gift. So what I got him is this kind of, it's kind of a gift card, but it's not like a gift card to a store. It's a gift card to um, kind of an, an experience, I guess. So you can get like so many different um, gift cards like these. You can get some for like lunch brunch, dinner, all that kind of, you know, restaurant type of thing. And you can get something from like trying out a Lamborghini. You can get one where you can go fly in a helicopter. You can get one where you can like dive with sharks and there are just like so many. So the one I got my dad is this one where you go to a bar and you drink beer and you learn about beer at this bar. Um, because my dad, he loves beer, so I thought this was perfect. And it's for two persons, so he can take, you know, somebody with him. And that's probably gonna be my mom. I'm really happy I found this, because it's always so hard for me to know what I'm going to get my dad. Like, I'm, I never know what, what I'm going to get for him. I think it's so hard. Like, especially, like, I feel like the hardest one to buy a gift to is definitely my dad. Because my brothers, they always just tell me what they want for like their birthday and Christmas and all that so I always know what to get them and you know my mom if everything else fails I can always get her flowers my mom loves flowers but with my dad I just feel like it's so difficult I never know what to get him but I thought this was a really really good idea so yeah I think I have been clever here so yeah I guess that's enough rambling um, in case you didn't watch my last video, which was my favorites video, then you won't know that my new schedule for uploading videos are Monday and Thursday now. So check back every Monday and every Thursday for a new video. Okie dokie, I'm gonna start out with some primer. Benefits Professional. And I have been feeling like wearing very light kind of things on my face. So I'm actually going to wear a tinted moisturizer today. And I'm going to make my own tinted moisturizer. So I'm going to take my Garnier BB Cream in light. This is the one for oily and combination skin. And I'm going to mix in a little bit of my daily moisturizer with this. And I find that this really does feel very, very light on my face. So I just mix it on the back of my hand. And I do use a little bit more uh, BB cream than I use uh, moisturizer. I would say I use about two thirds of BB cream and one third uh, moisturizer. And then I just go ahead and apply it all over my face. And I am going to bring it down my neck, but I'm going to start out with my face. Because this actually dries pretty quickly. So if I like try to do my face and my neck at the same time, it can kind of leave some spots. And as always, I just use some water, sprayed on my H&M makeup sponge, 
and then I go in and I blend this out and of course if you're using a tinted moisturizer you're not gonna get you know a very heavy full coverage type of look so if your skin is uh, you know if you have some acne scars and some acne like I do then uh, you can go in with a concealer afterwards and then I go down my neck as I always do and I'm going to use my concealer from my no makeup makeup palette from Too Faced and this is just a concealer brush from e.l.f. and because I did get kind of a tan I'm actually going to mix this darker concealer with this lighter one up here and then I go ahead and I apply this you know on my problem areas but you know I'm really going for the kind of lightweight and kind of natural look on my skin today so I'm not going to cover everything like completely and for underneath my eyes I'm just going to use the lightest concealer so I just apply this underneath my eyes and in the inner corner and then I go in with my sponge and I just stipple to um, blend out the concealer and then I look up into a mirror and I blend out um, the concealer around my eyes and then I'm just going to set everything with a little bit of um, powder and I'm just going to use my elf studio high definition powder today and as I said I'm going for a very natural kind of skin look today so I'm just going to use a big powder brush and this one is from Born Pretty Store so I just lightly set uh, my whole face and the key is to not apply too much powder So for the concealer underneath my eyes, I like to use a smaller brush. This one is Elf's uh, Essentials Blending Eye Brush. Okay, so um, just so I don't neglect my um, eyelids, I'm going to apply a little bit of primer. This one is by Elf. It's their Essentials Eyelid Primer in the color Champagne. So it's just kind of like a my skin tone, maybe a little bit more bronzy kind of color with a shimmer. And I do really like how this uh, primer is tinted because it kind of hides, uh, you know, the redness on my eyelids. And now I'm just doing my eyebrows. So as always, I brush them into place with my spoolie from Born Pretty Store. And to fill in my brows, I just use my Urban Decay Naked Basics eyeshadow palette. And you guys know I like to use the lighter brown and the darker brown together with my Ego Tools eyeliner brush. And I'm not gonna do my brows too crazy, I just want to define them a little bit. Now I'm going to use this tiny, tiny, tiny little e.l.f. eyeliner. This one is their um, Essentials Brightening Eyeliner in the color black. And I'm actually going to take this eyeliner and apply it on my lower waterline and my upper waterline. And then I'm going to smudge it out. And once I have my eyeliner on, I'm going to take this small brush, um, small eyeshadow brush. This one is from e.l.f. It's their small precision brush from their studio line. And I'm just going to use this to smudge out the eyeliner. So this is the eyeliner done and I really want that kind of smudged out eyeliner, the kind of eyeliner that looks like you put it on and then you fell asleep with it on and then you woke up and this is how it looks. So now I'm going to apply mascara. So first I'm going to curl my lashes with Shure Mora's eyelash curler and then I'm going to apply um, Lancome's Hypnose Doll Eyes Mascara in black.
So while I wait for my mascara to kind of dry so I can apply a second coat, I'm going to apply a little bit of bronzer. So I'm going to use my e.l.f. Studio Contouring Brush and Bronzing Powder in St. Lucia. And normally I use the bronzer in this kit to um, contour this one. But today I'm actually just going to use it as a bronzer. So I'm taking my e.l.f. Studio Blush Brush and I'm picking up that bronzer. And I apply it on my cheeks. And I also apply it across the nose and on the chin and on the cupid's bow. And then I just bring a little bit up on my forehead. And with that done, I just go ahead and blend it out. And then I go in and apply my second coat of mascara. And you could apply mascara on your bottom lashes or just keep it on the upper eyelashes. Okay, but with all that done, I'm going to take my hair down. Look, I just tried to put my earring in and because this hole always closes up on me, I had to like force the earring through and then I poked the earring straight in my fucking finger. Oh, and it hurt. And now I have blood everywhere. So let's hope I don't get poisoned and die. Being dramatic. So for the lips, I'm going to do a red lip because the colors in our Danish flag are red and white. And since I don't want to do a white lip, I'm going to do a red. So I'm taking my 66 lip palette by BH Cosmetics. And I'm going to take this red right here. And I'm going to use um, BH Cosmetics lip brush for this. And just because I feel like it, I'm going to apply a little bit of gloss. This one is by e.l.f. And I believe this is the Essentials Plumping Lip Glaze. And this color is Ruby Kiss. So that's my red lip done. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And as always, all the links will be in the down bar. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and go. So I'll see you guys in my next video. So take care. Bye bye.